Oh, this, this to me is like a visit to Santa's workshop. I am so thrilled to have Todd Bender right here, founder and director of City Kids. And just in case you thought that was just Hamilton, we better get caught up. Todd, welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you, it's great to be here. What has been happening since I checked last time? Yeah, we've, uh, we've been busy, of course. Yeah, there's always, uh, always stuff to do. Uh, right, I mean, City Kids started in Hamilton, of course, and uh, we've been celebrating uh, 20 years this year and uh, since then we've also started a branch in Regina and Ottawa as well and and I've been uh, over the last uh, three to five years visiting almost every Canadian city to to see what the need is uh, in terms of what's happening in the cities and finding out that there's a lot of need around our country a lot of kids who are struggling and a lot of different challenges and uh, and we want to help we want to go and do what we can to help this could become a national ministry yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it seems to be that way, doesn't it? It's uh, and it's always come from this heart that we just want to go where the need is. We just want to respond, and uh, and 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 I think we have something that uh, that can help. And I think that's that's what's led us. We've got to a point here in Hamilton where we recognize that what we're doing is working. Kids' lives are being transformed. They're being changed. And then you begin looking around other cities in the country and recognizing some of the same challenges um, that we've had here in our in Hamilton are what's happening in other cities. And we can do something about it. So, uh, so that's what's led us out. It's been a need, and uh, and then we find great people too who are really working hard, believe in their community, believe in their kids and the families. And so we're trying to come alongside those organizations and individuals and do what we can. Now we have some wrapped gifts mm -hmm. here, which represent a, a big reason people know who you are, a big reason our staff looks. Uh, uh, once again, this year we were right. part of the right. toy drive. Yeah. Uh, but tell us, tell us the big picture of what City Kids. Is doing right. For children. Right. Well, you know, when people ask me to describe the concept of City Kids, uh, one of the best analogies I use, I say, if it's kind of like if Mother Teresa and Walt Disney kind of met and decided to start a kids program, I think <laughs> City Kids would probably be what the product would be from that. Uh, but it all came from this heart, believing that every child, every child's a gift from God. Every child is born with with purpose and destiny. Uh, unfortunately, so many kids that grow up in both in poverty and uh, in, in cases of the kids we work with in the inner city, um, that message gets lost. Uh, they don't realize that. And with all the challenges that they grow up, and a lot of times they grow up believing that maybe they don't have a purpose, maybe that, that dreams and aspirations and achieving greatness is meant for other people. Um, so really our simple job is, is to come alongside, let them know that we love them, we care about them, that God loves them, and He has a plan for their life. City Kids is actually quite simple, um, but I think the thing is that message has to be said over and over again. And one of the most powerful things that we do is build relationship with every single child. Mm -hmm. Stake ourselves beside them, walk with them. We start when they're three years old. We're the people at their high school graduation taking pictures. Wow. And if you can do that long enough, consistently enough, and knocking on doors every week, building relationships, letting them know that they matter, God's got a plan. Uh, there's this thing called resiliency that, that builds in kids. One of the most amazing things is that when a child who maybe feels they have nothing suddenly grabs a hold of this message that God created them, the creator of the universe created them, and he created them for purpose. When they get a hold of that, we just step out of the way. <laughs> and it's amazing because when you have kids that grow up in, in, in tough circumstances and they discover this, they recognize that they have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And so after 20 years of doing this, we've seen kids' lives transformed, and it's so exciting. And, and this embraces uh, uh, children uh, regardless of uh, religion or cultural background. Absolutely, it's, yeah. It's wide open arms. What did you tell me? 3,000 children are now known by name. Yeah. They are That's part right. of a meaningful relationship. Right. Yeah. yeah, every single week somebody's knocking on their door, whether it's in Hamilton, Regina, or Ottawa right now, and, and, and inviting them out to city kids, asking how their day was, connecting with them every single week. And that's what we believe is what it takes. We have to, and Jesus role modeled this. This is what I, I so love about Jesus' leadership. He, he basically role modeled about going into the homes, loving people. You know, one of the best things he said was, look at, love God, heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor. And I think that's what City Kids has always been. Uh, we just want to role model what Jesus told us to do. Love God, and we love God with our heart and soul. And then love your neighbor. And for us, we focus on our neighbors being our kids, and we want to just love them and let them know God loves them. There are many sweet aspects to this story, and I want to try and tell them all. Is that possible? <laughs> First of all, 
20 years, you said. This is your 20th year. That's right. Uh, sweet irony. It is the 20th year of your marriage right, as well. Right, that's right. And you married one of your first volunteers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, I didn't intend on doing that. I wasn't looking for a wife. That's certainly not why City Can Start. You knew a good thing when you saw it. But yeah, we, uh, it was, I had just arrived in Hamilton. I wasn't here that long. And I came to Hamilton after actually leaving Bible college and uh, wanting to just dig my feet in and find a need and fill it. That was kind of my whole heart. I mean, very naive, but, uh, but I had all the best intentions. And so we started doing some activities with the kids on, uh, uh, in a local school. And one of the first volunteers to respond was at that time you know her, you know not my wife but my wife Tina and she she ends up showing up and she was this very strong demonstrative leader um, I remember I'd plan activities and she would come and she would have a better idea uh -huh. and I was still struggling in my own leadership I wanted to build some self-confidence so I figured and you knew that verse two are better than one yes that's right so long story short I figured I better marry her because mm -hmm. if I was gonna have any success at all I would need her by my side mm -hmm. and, and, and to know. this day she's uh, been just amazing and, uh, and the mother of your four children. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we have some video of uh, some of the celebration, and uh, this was last month. That's right, yes. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, we celebrated 20, 20 years. We had the chief of police, so this is Brian Mello as well, and one of our uh, kids who were uh, who sang that night. Uh, and of course, this is Saturday. This is uh, in Hamilton. Our kids coming. This is part of what we do in our Playhouse Theater every Saturday. We call it City Kids Saturday. It's kind of the Disney style experience. Uh, we play games, we sing, we do lots of dramatic presentations, and the commercial breaks is where we inject the truth that we want the kids to know. Um, this is our, our time during our prayer. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. The kids come in. And one of our goals is when they walk through the back door of the Playhouse Theater on a Saturday, we want them to be transported to this imaginary world where they can just forget about all the issues and challenges and problems. And for that time that they're with us, just to enjoy and love being a kid. And so that's what we do. Lots of celebrating, lots of singing. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's still one of my favorite things to do. I mean, 20, I do a lot of different things, but I still have my bus that uh, I still drive. I still visit the kids in the same neighborhood. Uh, now, a different generation of kids now. And it's interesting, as I'm walking down the street to visit kids, I have 25-year-olds who are waving at me who used to be the kids. Oh, that, that's too sweet. Yeah, it's quite What's wonderful. the City Kids Pledge? They would say it every Saturday. City Kids Saturday. It goes, uh, to God I pledge with all my might to always try to do what's right. To be honest, to be true, to be fair in all I do. Mm. Uh, to not just take but truly give, this is how I choose to live. We say it every, every week because we want our kids to know that no matter where you live, you always have something to offer, something to give. And our kids do. Our kids Saturday come and they give from their own need, their own money to support two children in Haiti. It's absolutely remarkable. Getting another centered focus right it's remarkable. there even in the midst of their poverty in many cases. A lot of these kids come by bus. So, uh, you know, I said, what does it take to, to reach that vision of 100,000 Canadian children <laughs> being, 100,000 being reached yeah. each week? You need buses, yes. you need volunteers. That's right. uh, it is growing, but the vision's big. That's right. Yeah, because the need is big. I mean, we know in our, in our country, I mean, the, the numbers often change depending on what metric that, that the governments use, but uh, there's close to a million kids that are struggling, uh, dealing in poverty. We know our First Nations uh, children and families are really struggling, and there's, really, there's a lot of challenges that, that they're facing. Uh, we know uh, particularly single moms, single dads have tough challenges, so there's a lot of need, and uh, our hope is that we can do what we can as fast as we can, as quick as it's we can. It's got to break your heart place. because you've got children on waiting lists. Absolutely. Waiting lists yeah. to be part of Yeah, whole neighborhoods. Lists. Yeah, we, we, you know, when you do something long enough, uh, if it's something that people want to be part of, word travels, right? And so word of mouth now, moms, dads asking us to come to their neighborhood. Um, so in Hamilton, we're hoping to, we're not on the escarpment yet. So in Hamilton, there's a lower city and an upper city. Um, we're down all in the lower city now. We have 28 bus routes already there, but our goal is we've got to scale the mountain. We've got to get up to the, uh, to the mountain. We've had people waiting, kids waiting. A little boy sent me this note through Facebook begging me because he's moving from the inner city up to the upper city ah. and he's begging he's, he says you have to get a bus Send up there a bus. I, I don't know what I'll do without city kids so those are the things that drive us and we're determined to get up there